and the first thing we'll do is we'll do a slide up interface piece I'm going to need the rectangle tool so I'll grab the rectangle tool and then I'm going to want to have some curved edges on it so I'm going to need to set this um, I want to make sure that these are locked and I'll set these to let's say uh, 26 hit enter that sets all four of these rectangular options to 26 and then we'll draw a quick rectangle and see how that looks so get my rectangle tool I'm gonna need to pick a color to start with let's get um, white and what I'll do with the white color though is make sure the alpha is at a hundred alright okay that looks good now nope, back to gray let's take white again alright so I've got no outline and what I'm gonna do is I'll just draw across and you can see how that looks right there okay now the question is is that curved enough for you alright I'm gonna hit control Z for undo I'm gonna curve it a little bit more let's say we'll take it up to 30 okay for a curved edge 30 hit enter alright and now what I'll do is I will pull it like that alright that sounds good alright that looks good now I'm gonna select it and make sure that it's long enough so I'll select it here notice it's on this new layer I've got layer 5 alright and I'll select it and it's 1024 wide I'll change that to 1024 even hit enter okay X zero that's fine um, I'm gonna need this thing to be a little bit longer but I'm gonna do that in an interesting way what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut off the bottom so I'll just select here like that and delete right and then what I can do is I can just add more of this white down here so what I'll do is so I deleted the bottom part so it's got a um, squared bottom and a curved top piece right um, and now what I can do is I can um, select part of it let's say like let's say this part right here okay select that and I'll just do a copy edit copy okay let me move this actions panel out of the way edit copy and then edit paste in place which means paste in the same place and then I'm gonna just use the arrows holding down the shift key I'm gonna use the arrows on my keyboard to move it down so you can see that that um, is perfectly aligned now and once I let go it's in the same place another thing that you want to make sure of when you're drawing with your rectangle tool is I like to have the object drawing mode off so that when I when I select the object that I'm drawing it doesn't have a blue uh, box around it it's not grouped automatically it's just a shape right so if you're saying hey mine's not a shape I'm trying to draw this with the rectangle tool make sure that you have when you have your rectangle tool selected that you have object drawing mode off right and you'll see what I mean as soon as you try to select it you'll see a blue box around it as opposed to it so I'll just show you on the side here if I if I take this tool and I click this and I draw a little box on the side here it's got curved edges but you see it's got a blue box around it. that's object drawing mode right and if you select it you'll see it says drawing object but if you take that same box turn off drawing object mode and draw it on the side here right same box but when you go to select it instead of a drawing object it's a shape I just find it's easier to work with right now so anyway I'll just select those and press delete on the keyboard alright and I need a little bigger piece here so I'm gonna do another one edit paste in place and then I'm just gonna shift use the arrow keys to move it down and so now I've got this rectangular piece here at the bottom and this thing can then move up I'll use the arrows to move it up alright so in place that's what it could look like right and then at the top we might have room for menus or whatnot something like that I can select it move it down a little bit and what I'm also going to want to do is probably uh, make it transparent so I will um, select it go to the color and take the transparency let's say to 70 alright 
and now deselect and now you can see that it's got now another layer of transparency so that a little bit of the artwork underneath can show through right I'm going to select it and say modify convert to symbol and I'm going to make it a movie clip with the registration point in the upper left hand corner and I'll call it um, uh, BG white white space or something like that I don't know I'm not sure I gotta figure out a good name for that and click OK and now it's a movie clip so how did I do that I selected it and went modify convert to symbol or F8 on your keyboard and converted it to a movie clip if you do that convert to symbol you can choose movie clip button or graphic you wanted to choose movie clip when we did that alright so now I have this piece here and what I can do is I can animate it and have it animate up into place just like I did on my other site on my other site as you can see this piece it animates and motion tweens up into place and then the logo um, also slides into place so we're gonna do that right now okay if I wanted this to animate into place what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first of all I'll name this um, transparent white okay I've named it transparent overlay transparent white I've got it here it's a movie clip and what I want to do is I want to animate this into place so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to on my timeline here I'm going to say okay we're gonna stop our movie around frame 20 or 25 our movie right now if we click on the background is running 24 frames per second so if we wanted some animation and animations to happen we could have the animations happen in the beginning and then we stop the movie around frame 25 or something like that so what I can do is I can say okay for this background element I'm gonna hit F5 I want that to stay until here and then I'm gonna click on over here and I'll say this transparent overlay I want that to stay so I'll hit F5 here which puts in regular frames right and then over here on this element I'm gonna hit F6 on the keyboard or you could just right click notice insert frame is F5 insert keyframe is F6 right and I could say okay insert um, keyframe right or something like that also what I could do is I could just say no 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 what I'm gonna do is I will just take this guy right here and say modify or insert motion tween so let's do that let's try that insert motion tween boom and instantly the motion tween um, adds a bunch of frames to it I can grab that and slide it over so that instead of 24 frames automatically it has 25 for the motion tween okay now for this motion tween what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna want it to let's say uh, what you want to do is you've got the motion tween that you created but you got to set the end point for your animation so you put the playhead on frame 25 and I'll just select this guy and I'll move him up one um, pixel by using clicking the up arrow and just slide him up one pixel and now that sets the motion piece right so I just moved him up one pixel don't ask me why um, what we'll do with that is notice on the bottom of the screen we can still see that um, it's covering the bottom of the screen or at least it should be I hope it is yeah that's good so fit in window and now what I'll do is I'll go back to the first I'll put the playhead on the first frame and I'll select it and then I'll hold the shift key down use the down arrows to move it down and notice the um, motion guide here the motion path that's being created and I'll slide it all the way down right so now on frame one it's down here you can barely see it off screen and then as the movie plays you can see that it will animate into place right and the other thing that I can do is I can also put some effects on that so I'll select this animation and I can set some easing to it so I'll put the easing to 100 right and now you'll see that as it slides into place it um, actually slows down so if we hit animate we hit enter on our keyboard you'll see it slows down as it comes into place right um, so once again that was uh, hopefully you followed that and I put some easing on I selected the animation and then changed the easing f factor to 100